guys, it's Amanda. I am back for my final unboxing of, come on, Feather. Jeez, kitty's back. Um, for my final subscription box of January, it's the Beauty Box 5. It's always the last to arrive. Um, and it feels very light, so somehow I'm expecting this one to be a little bit of a disappointment. I don't know if you can see my cat in the frame. Maybe you can see his tail. Oops. Oh, God. Oh my god, he, he thinks everything, oh my god, everything I touch or move is like prey, and he swipes at it. He just kicked the scissors, hang on. Feather. Oh okay, he'll probably be back. Anyways, let's see what's in it. So, so far the Ipsy box this month has been the winner. This one, again, just to remind you, is $12 a month. Um, I kind of feel like getting rid of this one and getting the uh, Conscious Box instead since it has, like, healthy foods in it and I'm really into, like, healthy snacks and weird things like that. But it's tw it ends up being $20 a month because that one is $12 a month and then there's, like, $8 shipping, which is kind of ridiculous because... I don't know, like, Birch Box has free shipping. Sorry, I'm looking at my cat who's trying to climb the door. Um, Ipsy has free, what did I just say? Birch Box has free shipping, Ipsy has free shipping, and this has free shipping. Okay, there it is. There's that, there's that, and then that's what you get. Uh, first thing is like an eye pencil and I've gotten stuff from this company model co before and haven't been like a huge fan of it but this is maybe it's a lip pencil because it looks like it's rose or brown yeah it's a lip pencil it's like I don't know mauve ma ma mauve I don't wear any, um, I don't really, I don't use these. I don't really like things on my lips too much. So there's that. And then there's also, there's another one from Pencil Me In. Pencil Me In, Natural Formula Eye Accent Pencil in Pink Lady. Now this one is weird because it's an eye, ac eye accent pencil, but it's in pink. It's like a lip color you'd expect to put on your lips. It's really, really pink. It's like Barbie pink. Can you see that? Feather, just get on the bed already. Come on, stop meowing. Okay, so there's that. They both have like built-in little cheap sharpeners too. Um, the next thing is another mineral product from Faro Cosmetics. It's a toxic free makeup line. This is called Blush Times 3 Multi-Purpose Pure Minerals that adds amazing natural color for glowing healthy skin that lasts 15 plus hours. Try on eyes and lips too. I'm not, to be honest, a big fan of these like loose powder um, mineral products. I prefer like pressed powders. Come on! There we go. Here he is. Feather in all of his glory. Um, yeah, I just never end up using these. If I can even get it out, maybe we'll use the scissors. So this color is called Desert Rose. It's a premium sample. And yeah, I just don't like things that are like all loose like that, don't have sifters or anything. But, um, it is like, it does have like a shimmer in it. I mean, Desert Rose is pretty accurate. Ouch. I don't think you can see it, but I mean, it's a pretty color. It just, I have a lot of pretty colored blushes that aren't so messy. And then... There is an eye tint from Becca. And this, I've seen one of these like forever ago, it was in somebody else's box. 
some mother box and um they couldn't figure out what it was for like because they're the color they had gotten like didn't even show up this color is called pericus pericus and it is a water resistant color for the eyes and the color is brown hmm yeah it's brown it, ha it has a shimmer to it but it's that brown looking color there um I don't know I just don't think I would use that and then the last thing is this from it's a solid perfume from Femme Fatales and it in the ingredients are coconut oil, beeswax, fragrance oil, and the scent is smell pretty always. I don't know. That's all it says. Ooh. I don't know. I don't even know what that smells like. Can't tell if I if it's like a good smell or or not a good smell. It's kind of strong, but I have no idea. I don't know. I smell kind of old-fashioned a little bit. Um, okay, the card says... That... Okay. I'm at like a loss for words right now, I think. Words are not coming quickly. Um, the perfumes are airport approved. They'll never spill in your purse, but they'll melt. Um, and it's seven dollars is what they retail. Um, the pencil me and eye pencil blends easily, lasts all day. Six ninety nine is what it costs. The desert rose blush retails seventeen dollars for full size. It's supposed to be my new favorite cheek color. It's brand new for twenty thirteen pink with a hint of coppery warmth and it looks great on any color. Um, the Model Co. Lip Pencil is in pomegranate. Um, they swear we'll wear it all day and it's non-drying and it's $18. Come on now. This packaging just does not feel like anywhere near the quality of an $18. Like This does not feel like an $18 lip pencil. Give me a break. Um, like this one made a little more sense with $6.99, but even that is kind of like, I don't know. Um, but then it also says, surprise 2012 favorites, backed by popular demand. One of your favorite products from 2012 is making a comeback for you to try again. So apparently, this thing must have been one of the favorites of 2012, so... We'll see. I wish I knew what the color was supposed to be. Feather, come on! I know. He's using the tripod as a chin rubber. Um, oh yeah. No, it did say the color. Pyrocus. Pyrocus, aka brown. So that's it. And then there's some promo codes for um, the pencil me in. Oh, I think they show the girl wearing the pink. So, she pulls it off somehow. I'm not sure, but there's 30 colors to choose from. So, that could be cool if you're looking for, like, a specific color eye pencil for pretty cheap. So, that's everything. Um, there were five things in there, because it's Beauty Box 5. There was an eye pencil in Barbie Pink, a lip pencil in Pomegranate, cheek color in Desert Rose, a maybe good, maybe not good smelling perfume stick, and then an eye, a brown eye tint. So what do you guys think? Should I keep this box or should I ditch it and just spend 10 more dollars and get um, the conscious box? Oops, camera died. Um, yeah, so long story short, should I keep this box? Should I move on to the conscious box? Um, should I do a Nike haul? 
Should I keep talking to myself? Anyways, I hope you guys are having a good day again. And uh, probably won't see you tomorrow, but I'll probably see you soon. Bye.